All right, yep. I am doing exactly what it looks like I'm doing. Losing the dress shoes and I am putting on my sneakers. We are gearing up for the inaugural sneaker gala and it is all to benefit young men and women on Delmarva. Young men and women who don't have a home, a place to lay down at night. Can you imagine? We would like to introduce you to the executive director of the Phoenix, Phoenix Youth Project, Amber Green. Amber, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you for having me. You've got some cozy shoes on too. I here. do, I do. It's all about being comfort and right. giving back to the community. You don't have to be all stuffy, pinned up and everything. You can just have fun, be yourself and give back at the same time. Cool, so first of all, tell us about the Phoenix Youth Project. So yeah. Phoenix Youth Project, we were founded in 2013 and we were based in creative arts, we're grounded in social justice, and we empower youth to give back to the community by encouraging them to use their creative talents. Uh, we primarily did a creative youth um, programs like poetry and spoken word, and just before the pandemic, we actually started providing direct services to homeless youth, and we've been uncovering a lot of issues in our community facing homeless youth, and so we dug deep in our creative bag, and we said, you know what, let's do a sneaker gala, and let's um, raise money so we can um, help bring solutions to our area of focusing on homeless youth. Yeah, so this, this event is all about that, the homeless yep. youth, right? It's all about homeless Homeless youth is um, mainly focusing on finding creative solutions. Uh, fun fact, there's absolutely no youth shelter on the Lower Shore. So youth under the age of 18, they have nowhere to go. We're looking to find creative ways to help us find solutions, maybe create a host home program, find transitional housing, anything that we can help um, find a place for young people to lay their heads at night. Yeah, and what circumstances do you think contribute to the problem of youth homelessness here? A lot of things, a lot of the social issues that you see a lot of organizations focusing on. Um, you have youth who are entering homelessness, they've just exited out of the foster care or aged mm -hmm. out of foster care, or you have youth who've recently been detained or impacted by incarceration, or you have young people who are LGBT and they're not being accepted by their friends or their family, and so they have to adult on their own. Um, African American youth as well as LGBT youth and pregnant teens are overrepresented in our youth homeless community and so we have to find solutions to a lot of these issues that we're facing. Yeah and of course you, you talk to these youth, what do they say or what do you think that they need the most? They need support and they need empowerment. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that I try to tell the young adults, especially the youth that come across our drop-in center, is that you have to get out of this surviving mode. Because when you're in surviving mode, you do things that you need to, to get by the next day. So if you have youth homelessness, of course you're going to have juvenile crime. If you um, are seeing people with living cars or doing whatever they need to do to get by, um, we have to provide solutions mm -hmm. so kids don't have to survive and they can just thrive. Absolutely. So, of course, let's talk about this event coming up. Yes. Give us all the details. So, <laughs> it's our first ever event. Um, sh a major shout outs to the city of Salisbury and the Truett Community Center. We're hosting it there. Mm -hmm. um, and we're excited to have DJ Ann One, who is one of our area's youngest DJs, um, as well as we have um, some of the youth who we work with who will be speaking mm -hmm. um, and sharing their stories of how our organization has impacted their life, um, especially in getting housing stability. Um, you may not be able to find housing or be able to get, or you're just on a wait list, but you know, being able to create a plan or to have some um, positive engagement, that's one step closer to being stable in housing. Yeah, absolutely. So of course we see, we see it right here, kicking it with Phoenix. Yes. And tell us about, you know, why, what, what's the sneaker deal all about? Traditionally, nonprofits, when you're thinking about that big annual fundraiser, you're thinking about a gala, dress up, it's like all hors d'oeuvres, meatballs, I like meatballs, but <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, all the stuffy things, mm -hmm. but we wanted to open it up to young people, especially mm -hmm. young adults, um, to give them an opportunity to get back in philanthropy and, you know, give back in the community. And so we said, let's target those young adults, let's target the young at heart, and let's do a gala, but let's wear sneakers. Um, this isn't a, a brand new event. These are events that are happening in major metropolitan areas like Atlanta, New York, they do these annually. And so we wanted to bring that feel to a rural area and get the conversation going about homelessness. A lot of people think that homelessness just affects metropolitan areas, but homelessness is just as bad um, in rural areas. And like I said earlier, there's no youth shelter here. So we are behind um, the curveball right now. So we have to get caught up and provide these resources. 
I love it. It's all for a good cause, and your feet won't hurt at the end of the night. Nope. You might dance out of them. Hey! I love that. <laughs> all right, Amber Green with the Phoenix Youth Project. Thank you so much thank for you. coming in today.